In this week's court report, the 22-year-old mother arrested for child abuse charges connected to the death of her six-month-old child after that infant's father was also arrested and charged with murder and child abuse connected to the baby's death will be in court this Thursday. Amanda Ellen Ramsey has a pretrial hearing scheduled in Justice Court. During her last proceeding and arraignment hearing, Ramsey waived formal reading of the complaint against her, stating she understands the nature of the charges. The defendant was was advised of her rights, the three formal charges against her, and procedures. Ramsey was screened as to her financial status, so the court appointed attorney Nathan Gent to represent her. Then a rep for the state motioned for a pretrial hearing to allow counsel to be present. The defendant was then remanded to the custody of NCDC, where she remains in custody, $500,000 cash or bond on the formal charges of abuse, neglect, endangerment of a child with substantial bodily harm, and two counts of child abuse. Officer's investigation began back in September 2017 after her infant was transported to Sunrise Pediatric Hospital in Las Vegas with life-threatening injuries caused by physical abuse. The child's father, 21-year-old Mitchell Robinson, was arrested first back in early September. Detectives say during their interview with Robinson, he admitted to shaking the baby several times on the day the infant stopped breathing. The Nye County DA's office obtained a warrant for Ramsey's arrest after detectives discovered additional evidence indicating that Ramsey had been aware of several prior occasions when Robinson physically abused their child. Police say the evidence further showed that Ramsey failed not only to protect the child, but had also been a part of several abusive acts prior to the child's death. Robinson's next court date is scheduled December 14th. A Pahrump man arrested and charged with battery with use of a deadly weapon, owning or possession of a gun by a prohibited person, discharging a gun or other weapon where persons might be endangered, and making a false statement to obstruct a public officer, recently appears in court for arraignment. Gregory Uribe currently has three different cases open in justice court, all with different dates of occurrence. During Uribe's formal arraignment, the defendant said he understands the charges against him, and his public defender invoked his client's right to a speedy trial and requested a pretrial hearing and preliminary hearing. However, that preliminary hearing, which was set for November 1st, has been vacated. After his arraignment, Uribe was remanded back to the custody of NCDC with bail to remain set at $100,000 cash or bond. Uribe has both an arraignment hearing and a sentencing hearing for two of his three cases scheduled in justice court November 15th. Cole Engelson, the area man arrested and charged with first degree murder in connection to the death of three year old Yesenia Camp, appears in court recently for a status hearing. During that proceeding, the defense requested another status hearing in January as they're awaiting the autopsy report and reports of the specimens that were sent to Texas for an expert to examine. The court accepted the representations and set a status hearing for January 25th, 2000. 2018. Then Engelson was remanded back to the custody of the Nye County Sheriff's Office, where he remains on a no-bail hold. This has been your court report. I'm Unette Gentry for News 46.